Hi, I'm Steve Towns, editor of Government Technology Magazine. Thirty years ago, Vint Cerf and a colleague developed the TCP IP communication protocols that now form the foundation for the Internet. Today, Cerf is Vice President and Chief Internet Evangelist for Google, where part of his job is to identify new Internet applications and technologies. So what does the man widely considered to be the father of the Internet predict for the future? Cerf sees a handful of clear trends over the next five years. The one thing for sure is that an increasing amount of the network applications will be available on mobile devices. Uh, second, the speeds at which you can get access to the net will increase over time, both in the uh, wireless and the wired world. Uh, third, more and more devices are going to be internet enabled, which means they can be managed through the network. Uh, you can imagine uh, exchanging all of your remotes to control your entertainment equipment with one single mobile, which interacts with them through the internet, which means it could be anywhere. You don't have to be at home sitting in the living room or in the entertainment room controlling the device directly with an infrared mm -hmm. signal. Instead, you're talking through the network to those devices. And of course, strong authentication keeps the 15-year-old next door from reprogramming your entertainment system. So uh, those are three very clear trends. Uh, another thing uh, that we'll see is an increasing amount of sensor type systems being part of the internet, so their information is accessible that way. Could be buildings that become instrumented, automobiles that are instrumented, devices that we carry around might be capable of detecting uh, hazardous materials uh, in the air. Uh, they may even be capable of detecting humidity and temperature and other very basic things, but the result of collecting all that information is a micro uh, view of the uh, climate uh, or weather, uh, making our, our weather prediction even more precise because of the data that we get. Uh, so these are all very, very clear trends. Beyond that, it's a little hard to say. The extreme flexibility of the Internet platform makes long-term predictions much more difficult. Indeed, SURF believes that the vast majority of Internet uses and applications are yet to be conceived. The basis for my speculation about the 99% of these applications haven't been invented is to look at the rate at which new ideas are coming along on the net, new things that are happening either within the web context or elsewhere, and recognizing that there are an increasing number of people with capability and interests in building applications on the net that uh, you, know, you can predict even now with only one billion users on the net as we move towards the next decade of the 21st century, maybe we'll have five billion users on the net. Well, that's a factor of five right there. Uh, and some of these things are not linear in terms of the rate at which inventions happen. Every time somebody invents something that's successful or comes up with a new standard, it creates another platform on top of which invention can happen. And so this thing is a positive feedback loop. Look for more from our conversation with Vince Cerf in the October issue of Government Technology Magazine and in a series of upcoming GTTV reports. For GTTV, I'm Steve Towns.